Hi guys, how are you today? So I found this question on Unreal Engine forum. So this guy uh, asking, uh, how can I give two different initial rotation values to two meshes on a single animator? Currently has this effect where these two spiral has a positive rotation, but he is using two emitters, one for each. So in this case, see what we can do. So let's say we have this Niagara. I'll just add that from the end. Okay, so I have this single emitter, and let's use just burst and two particles. And I'll just use with ones. I don't want these things and live forever. So I have just two particles that live forever. So I'll delete this sprite mesh and just take a mesh render. And by default, it comes with that gizmo, right? So if I first offset this and if you have a single mesh and you want just two rotation between two particles, that's a different thing. If you have multiple meshes and depending on that you want rotation, that's a different thing. So first you have a single mesh and you want opposite rotation for each. So if you take the initial mesh orientation. And this is now random and these two particles are randomly rotating. Turn this off. First, I will just offset these little bit. So to offset what you can do and the same process you will use for rotation. So in here, we have position. This is the X axis. We can move it here or here. So if I break. Okay. And let's use here. uniform a and b because we have two particles and the id would be zero and one so if i show you this thing and select this and it's capture so we have two particles zero and one in that case we can use this process if you have multiple values like you have multiple particles then you will use another method i'll show you later so in this case, you have zero and one value. So if you are used in the distribution alpha execution ID, it will give you either zero or one. So if you have zero, I want my offset zero. And if this is one, I want my offset this. So now this second particle, I want to rotate on that direction. This red arrow should be that direction. So the same thing you will do here. So now if I turn on the initial rotation and just turn this off none and now here we have rotations. So basically. Oh. Yeah. So basically if you rotate these on X on Y and on Z. So I want to rotate on Z and my value should be 0.5. So I will break this. And I will use it. Oops, not this. This. And again, I will use the execution index and turn this off. And I want 0 0.5. So you will notice it is happening, but sometime when I play, it is not because. This is uh, like a random thing. Sometime it will go to this, sometime go to this. So now what you can do, you can use another thing. So you can use curves, you can use other things like, let's turn this off and here just for the offset. See, sometimes it's not working. So what you can do, you can directly multiply with the execution index if you want. So if I just Connect the execution index here and turn this off. And if I increase, so now it will be same every time. And if you have multiple particles like this, it will like go like this. So depending on the ID, it will multiply that value and we were offset of each particles, right? In this case, I just want two particles so we can use. 
So it is just multiplying it with this. If you go negative, it will go like this. Cool. Then if you do the same thing here, see what happens. So if you directly connect the execution index, I turn this off. And now, see, because for the zero, it's not giving you, uh, it's multiplying with the zero. So that will remain same and it will work for the other particle. Okay. So you can now rotate it like this. But in this case, if you have multiple particles, like you have four particles and you have offset like this, see, it's alternating applying that because first particle is in this way, second this way, third this way, then this way. So if you want to do that very specific, like this is on left side, you want this on right side, this you want left side, like specific, you want the rotations. What you can do instead of this, you can use curve. And now you know you have four particles. If I connect here execution index, turn this off. You can put four keys here. Each key is for each particle and you can assign each rotation. If I make each particle zero, 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 and zero. And also this is zero. This is like one and this is two. This is three. So now you have four particles. If I just added this key, it's also changing other because this is curve and link. So what you need to do, select all, right click, or there's a shortcut, constant key. So now if I add it, uh, it should change. Let me just check. I press one. Oh, because this is normalized. So what you have to do actually, you have to put these keys like this. So this is at zero and the last key would be one. And these in between will be like 0.25 and this will be 0.5. Okay. So now I'll apply zero on each. Okay. This is 0, 0.25, this is 5, and this is 0.75. Yeah, now it's editing just one particle. Okay, so I'll just make it 0. And this second key is rotating other particle. I'll make it 0. And this third one is rotating last particle. And this first one will rotate the first part. So this is the specific uh, if you want to do. So you can do lots of other things with it. So like you have four particles and I'll reset it. And you want them, I, I, I don't have any offset. And you have a shape. And like you have a torus. So first thing you want to align the, let's make this like 20. And you want to like, you want to have same space. So here in the torus shape, first I just turn this off. And instead of random, I'll go to direct and I'll assign here execution index that is off. Okay, now they have all, but they have the same rotation. Now you want normal rotation of your torus. So you can just simply do the orient vector and connect with the vector. See, now you can decrease the this thing and see, you have this. Still, you can add rotation on it if you want, like this or this. There are lots of things we can do with rotation. I have separate tutorials on that. But if you want anything special, I can make an advanced uh, tutorial for you. But I hope now you have clear. Uh, one more thing I have to just lastly, I'll just delete this, I'll delete this, and you have two particles, but you have two random meshes. So this is the arrow, and in the second mesh, you have like this 
wrong field. First, you need to assign these two mesh to, to, to your particles. You have two particles, but now it's taking this. So if I add again that offset here, break and execution index and move it, you can see both meshes are same. You want different meshes. So these meshes has this index zero and one, like the particles. You can go to binding and this is bind with the mass index. If you can find it, you can assign it. If you don't, you can make your own. So type here mesh index. And now if I make it one, now this is a uh, rocket. So now you can just take the execution index and then I'll make this rocket smaller, maybe 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. Okay. So now I have two particles with two mesh and now you want this different rotation like you don't want to touch this but you want to touch this now you will do the same thing so i'll just take the initial rotation turn this off break this okay and i want to rotate uh, actually this this y axis i want to face the rocket on the left so that will be like around 0.25 so I'll just add a curve and connect here execution index. Zero particle, I want zero, and the first particle I want point to five, and that's it. So you can just add in this part. So now I hope this is clear. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. Bye bye.